Wiener Schnitzel. Morongo is made for you. Tonight, you meet that special somebody at Sienna. Or maybe fun in the sun is what you like. A lazy river, a jump in the pool, a stroll on the beach. A cabana is what you love. Morongo is made for everybody. Morongo, good times for everybody. DDRV.com is California's largest RV location with 1,000 RVs ready now. American Auto's Anna Gasteyer joins us live in studio. Plus, the cheese that acts and tastes like mozzarella but doesn't require a cow to make in Texmark. Tomorrow. Now at 5, history made in the United States today. Late this morning, Donald Trump was arrested in Miami, becoming the very first former president to face federal charges. The scenes inside and outside the courtroom. A driver speeds through a red light, striking a man in the middle of a crosswalk in South L.A. Friends speaking out tonight as the husband and father remains in the ICU. And a burglary for burritos. Surveillance video shows would-be thieves try and fail to break into a Lake Elsinore top Taco Shop. The KTLA 5 News at 5 starts right now. Good evening. You're watching the KTLA 5 News at 5. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Vera. Thank you for joining us. We begin with breaking news at 5. Former President Donald Trump stopping at a Cuban cafe in Miami after pleading not guilty in the federal classified documents case. He is now the first U.S. president ever charged with federal crimes. Our Chris Wolf is tracking the breaking developments live from our news center. Chris. That's right, Cher. Pedro, Donald Trump's response to the federal charges against him not guilty. Those felony counts accuse him of hoarding national defense information in violation of the Espionage Act of 1917. Trump is back in New Jersey tonight, planning to speak to supporters as he did in Miami earlier today. <laughs> Donald Trump stops at a cafe in Miami to greet supporters and well-wishers a short time after appearing in federal court to answer charges, he mishandled sensitive national security secrets, classified documents, and then tried to block investigators from collecting them at his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. Food for everyone. Food for everyone. I think it's going great. I think it's a rigged deal here. We have a rigged country. We have a country that's corrupt. We have a country that's got no borders. We have a country that's got nothing but problems. We're a nation in decline. And then they do this stuff. And you see where the people are. We love the people. Cameras are not allowed in federal court. Witnesses say the former president was somber and quiet before the judge, often slumped, never uttering a word, speaking only through a plea of not guilty in response to 37 felony counts accusing Donald Trump of holding classified records that could have threatened national security if exposed. Trump then signed conditions of his release. No direct contact with witnesses in the case, only through his attorneys and the legal process. As the proceedings unfolded upstairs, as expected, supporters and opponents of the former commander-in-chief lined the streets outside the courthouse. Shouting, waving various banners and flags, they remained peaceful. Trump calls the case a political witch hunt. This is Donald Trump, and he is going to come guns a-blazing with a very strong vocal defense. He is a defendant in a criminal case looking at, if convicted, spending years in prison. Donald Trump says he won't let this challenge slow his run for the White House. He says it's only boosting his numbers in the polls. A U.S. Marshals Service spokesperson says the former commander-in-chief was booked and fingerprinted in court today. No mugshot was taken, though, because the Marshals Service says there is ample imagery of Donald Trump already in the public domain. Live in the News Center, I'm Chris Wolf. Back to you. Chris, thank you. Stay with KTLA 5 for continuing coverage of the arraignment of former President Donald Trump. We'll have a live report from Miami, Florida ahead at 530. And for the latest anytime, you can head to KTLA.com or download our free KTLA 5 app. 
Breaking news out of L.A. City Hall. Council member Curran Price has been charged with embezzlement, perjury, and conflict of interest. That's according to a spokesperson with the L.A. County DA's office, which said Curran is facing a total of 10 charges. Price is just the latest politician to be caught up in scandal. Earlier this year, council member Mark Ridley Thomas was found guilty of conspiracy, bribery, and fraud. Last year, City Council President Nur Martinez resigned after a recording containing racist remarks was leaked to the public. Kevin De Leon and Gil Cedillo were also caught up in that scandal but refused to resign. A spokesperson for Price's office says the council member has not seen the charges, adding, quote, Curran Price is a long-standing public servant who has given his life to the city of Los Angeles. He looks forward to defending himself once he's had an opportunity to address these charges. Irvine residents are being warned about a sexual predator caught on camera groping.